ちは皆さん、お元気ですか ?Hello, how are you?Today vocabulary videos number 28 and we are going to continue learning 発音。発音 ?This is the pronunciation. And especially about your own. Your own. So these letters. Ya, you, your small letters. Last week we studied with ya. Small ya. And today we are going to learn about you. You. And in hiragana we can write in both ways. Like this, only one stroke or like one and two. Both are okay. As you like. And also in katakana, this one one and two. So, hiragana and katakana, we use small u, then we change the sound. And this yogo, these are ya, yu, yo. Only can be there, just in front of this ya, yu, yo, must be the seven letters. That is ki, shi. Ki, shi, chi, ni, ni, hi, mi, li. Only these seven letters or its variations. There are four variations. Ki can be gi with ten ten and gi. And shi can be ji. Hi can be b or p. Well, I'll show you. Well, the first with ki, ki and u. So ki, u. Q, U, Q, Q. So this sounds Q, Q. And the next one, she and you. She, you, shu, shu, shu. And the next, she and you. Chu, chu, chu. Ni and you, new, new, new. And he and you, Hu, 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 and me and you, mu, 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 and the last one, li and you, liu, 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 hmm? and the variations with ten ten, gi and you, gyu, gyu. And she and ten ten, this is G. G and you. J. J. And the he can be with ten ten or maru. This was he and ten ten. B. B. B and you. B. B. And the last one, he can be with circle with maru. P. This is P. P and U, Pew, Pew, both, Pew. I want you to read this in hiragana and so that you can accustom to this pronunciation and writing. And the first one, Ki and U, Q, and U, so this, must, this is a longer sound. Q, Q means nine, nine. Q, this is the kanji, and the second one, Ju, G. U, ju, and long sound, ju. Till q, ju, this is 90. Q, ju, q, 99. Q, ju, q. To make this video, I try to think of many, many words as much as I can with u, small u. And then with ki, q, I didn't I didn't find anything with only Q. It was all Q, that long sound. So I think with Kiyu, there are more sounds with Kiyu. Q. Well, this case, Q Q Sha. Q Q Sha. Here we've got U, small U, here or again. And this is Ya, small Ya. Well, Sha, this means car. And QQ sha, this is ambulance. But the first Q, second Q, the kanji is different, but the pronunciation is the same. QQ sha. QQ sha. Ambulance. Ya Q. Ya Q. Well, this Q here, 
Q, it means some, something like a ball. Ball shaped things. This is Q. And ya, with this kanji, this means the, the, like the countryside. So ya kyu, the ball that is played in the countryside. So ya kyu, baseball. Can you read this? Kokyu. Kokyu, this means breathing. Kokyu. And it can be the verb like this. Kokyu shimas. To breathe. Kokyu shimas. And kokyu, only kokyu? Breathing. Takyu bin. Well, this is the first two small one. This is to jump sound. So Kyu bin. This is home delivery service. So door to door parcel delivery. That is takyu bin. Nowadays we use lots of, in, in many, many occasions we use takyu bin. Kenkyu sha. Kenkyu sha. Here we've, we've got two, these small letters, yu and ya. Kenkyu sha. This is researcher, researcher, kenkyu sha. And only kenkyu, this is research. And it can be the verb to investigate or to research that, that is going to be kenkyu shimas. I want you to practice with me the pronunciation, okay? So can you read this? Lenkyu, lenkyu. This is a consecutive Holidays, so at least three or four holidays to all together. This is Lenkyu. Now the first time with ten, 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 ten. So this time we pronounce Gyu, Gyu. Well, this Gyu, this kanji, we can also pronounce Ushi. Ushi, this is the animal name, cow. Cow, we say Ushi. And this kanji we can also pronounce like gyu. And, and the meaning is the same, the cow. And niku, niku, this is the meat. Meat to eat. So gyu niku, gyu niku, this is beef. Now we practice with shi sound. And here, shi yu u, shu, shu. This means we. This week, like this. And here, this kanji, we usually pronounce ima. Now, this moment, now, ima. But this kanji, we can also pronounce kon. And this, this time, we pronounce kon. Konshu. Konshu. Konshu, it means the now week. Week of the now. Week of this time. So, konshu, this means this week, konshu, this week, and senshu, senshu, and this time, last week, senshu, laishu, laishu, next week. Well, this kanji, lai, we can also pronounce ki, from kimas to come. So, laishu literally means the coming week, this coming week. So, laishu, next week. Look at this. This time we don't have u. So, this is not going to be shu, like long sound. This is short. Shu. So, we pronounce shukudai. Shukudai. This is homework. Shukudai. Mo, shukudai o shimashita ka? Did you already do your homework? Shukudai. Look at this. This time we don't have, we don't have either u. So this is, this is not long sound. Only shufu. Shufu. And this shu, it means principal. Fu, this is a lady. So shufu, this is housewife. Shufu. Shujin. Shujin, the principal and the person. Shujin, this is husband. Husband. But it can be my own husband or the husband of the other people. 
So when the the other person's husband, then we use go shujin with more respect. Go shujin. This is means husband with somebody else. Go shujin. And when you are talking about your own husband, you don't use with go, only shujin. Shumi. Shumi, this means hobby. So, for example, I can say, Anata no shumi wa nan desu ka? Anata no shumi wa nan desu ka? What's your hobby? Olympic senshu. Olympic senshu. Well, this means an Olympic athlete. But anyway, senshu only senshu, this is athlete. And this kanji sen, the first one, it means to choose. To choose. And the second one, shu, this is the hand. So it likes the, the chosen hand. It, but this, is, this means an athlete. Ren shu shimas. Ren shu shimas. It means to practice the verb. But only ren shu. Ren shu, this is practice. So I'm going to tell you that one sentence. Watashi to ishu ni hatsuon wo renshu shimashou. Watashi to ishu ni together with me hatsuon wo the pronunciation. Renshu shimashou. Let's study. Let's practice. Watashi to ishu ni hatsuon wo renshu shimashou. Let's practice the pronunciation with me. Shukyo. Shukyo. So we've got u. So this is the long sound, shu, and here too, ki and yo, kyo, and long sound, kyo, shu, kyo, religion. Well, now in katakana, can you read this? This, the first one is shi, sashi suse, so shi, and you, so shu, and this one for the long sound when we write in katakana, and like this, Line, it means the longer sound. So it means shu, shu, and cream, cream, shu cream, shu cream. This one, shu cream. So delicious and I love it. Shu cream. Mean, well, in English, if we say shu cream, Shoe cream, maybe say shoe cream. What's this? Is this kind of cream to for the shoes? Well, not like this because shoe cream. This comes from French word shoe à la crème, shoe à la crème. So this is this one. In in English, I think you say cream puff. Cream puff. So today you are going to learn lots of vocabularies, and it's a little bit tiresome, but I think the very important thing is that you are going to learn very well about this kind of pronunciation, right? The first one, now with tente, ji, yu, ju, the long sound, ju, this means number 10, ju. But if we pronounce this yu with the, uh, the big yu, Jiyu, jiyu, and this means free or freedom, liberty, jiyu. So it's very different, jiyu with this kanji, or ju, number 10. This one is quite difficult to pronounce. Can you, can you try? Shujutsu, shujutsu, shujutsu. Well, this shu, we can also pronounce te. This means hand, hands, shu, jutsu, jutsu, this is technique, technique. So the hand technique was this shujutsu, shujutsu, this is operation, like a surgery, operation, this is shujutsu. This word is a little bit difficult to pronounce, gijutsu sha, can you do it? Gijutsu sha, gijutsu sha. Gijutsusha. Gijutsusha. Well, jutsu, this is a technique. And gi also technique. The sha, 
with this kanji, it means the person. So, gijutsha, this is engineer. Gijutsha, engineer or expert technician. Gijutsha. Geijutsuka. Geijutsuka. Well, this ka is also ie, uchi, this means the house. And then, what is the geijutsu? Do you remember jutsu? This is technique. The same kanji, jutsu. Gei is art. Gei. So that the art technique, the person, art technique person, this is artist. Only gei jutsu, this is art. So gei jutsu ka? Artist. Judo. Judo. We've got u, u, so this is long sound. Judo. Judo is Japanese sport, you know, judo. And this do, it means the path and also the street, the way. This is, this kanji means. And ju, this means flexibility, flexible and soft, soft. It's not, it's not hard, very soft and flexible. So this is the flexible way. Oh, the very soft way, the soft path. This means judo. Junbi. Junbi. Preparation. And junbi shimasu. To prepare. And here, after ju, ju, there's the sound of n, n. N sound. Junbi. Junbi. Preparation. Now, the sound with chu. And in this case, there's U, so long sound. Chugoku, with this kanji, Chugoku. Chugoku is the country's name, China. Chugoku. And this kanji, Chu, it is also Naka, the center. Goku, Kuni, the center. Chugoku. And the, the other one, Chugi. Chugi. The same pronunciation, chu, but different kanji. This is naka, and here, there's naka here, but here, this part, this is kokoro, heart, heart or mind. So, chugi, this means loyalty, chugi, loyalty. Now the sound of new or new. Well, here in katakana, new. And this one is long sound, so new, news. This is like a sound, news. News is the same as in English, news. Like, a, oh, what kind of news? News. I've got a news, like this news. And you new, you new. Do you remember we already studied with you niku? Gyuniku, that was beef. Gyu, this means cow. We can, when we say cow, like animal's name, we say ushi with this kanji. But we can pronounce also gyu in onyomi and gyu nyu. Nyu, this is milk. Milk. So gyu nyu, this is cow milk. Nyuin shimasu. New in shimas. Well, actually, this new we can also pronounce hairimas. Hairimas it means to go in, to enter. Hairimas, and this kanji is very similar to the person hito, but it's not the same. Here, in this case, we write this one first one, and the second one is the longer two. So this is different from the person. Well, this means Hairimas to enter. So, enter to the in. What's this in means? Well, this in comes from this word. This, this word. Byo in. Byo in. This means hospital. Hospital. Byo in. So, it means enter the hospital. Enter the hospital. New in shimasu. So you go to the hospital and you register, then you are going to stay in the hospital. 
This is yuin shimasu. Let's see the case of pyu. <laughs> Computa. Well, this is hi and maru circle. Pi and small u, pyu. And this is the long sound. Pyu. Pyu. Computer. You know what it is. Computer. 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 Here we are going to study three words. The first one, ryugaku. This is d u d u and u, so long sound. Ryugaku. This gaku comes from the gakko school. Well, ryugaku it means uh, the study abroad. The study abroad. This is ryugaku, and ryugaku shimas. This is the verb to study abroad. Hmm? To study abroad, ryugaku shimas, and ryugaku sei. Sei is the student. So ryugaku sei, an international student. This is ryugaku sei. The last word of today is ryu, ryu, dragon, dragon, and we can use in two different kanjis. Can be this one, ryu, dragon, and this one also, ryu, dragon. And well, dragon is mythological animal, so it doesn't exist. But if you want to know what's the difference between these ryu, mm, it can be this ryu with this kanji. This is occidental dragon with this kanji, and the shape is something like a alligator. This one, the occidental one, and this one, ryu, the oriental dragon, and the form is somewhat like, like serpent. But anyway, both ryu is dragon. Well, bravo, good work. Because I think maybe you wrote down some kind of words, some new words that you didn't know, or. You are practicing the pronunciation with me, right? Now we are going to have the quiz. This quiz is going to be the five questions, and this this is the dictation. So I want you to listen very very carefully, and the pronunciation, and I I want you to write down in hiragana or katakana or in kanji, but all in Japanese, not in alphabet. Okay, and this. This dictation is at the same time the questions, so you must answer these questions. So five questions, the five answers. Then this is gonna be just like a conversation, just like as I asked you, then you answer them, but writing. Okay, so let's get started. Please prepare your your pencil and a notebook. Ichiban me, ichiban me. 先週宅急便を受け取りましたか？先週先週宅急便を宅急便を受け取りましたか？受け取りましたか？先週宅急便を受け取りましたか？先週宅急便を受け取りましたか？二番目、あなたの牛肉は美味しいですか？あなたの国の牛肉は美味しいですか？あなたのあなたの国の国の牛肉は牛肉はは牛肉は美味しいですか美味しいですか
あなたの国の牛肉はおいしいですかあなたの国の牛肉はおいしいですか三番目三番目医者は病院で手術をしますか医者は病院で手術をしますか医者は医者は医者は医者は病院で病院で病院で手術を手術をしますかしますか医者は病院で手術をしますか医者は病院で手術をしますか4番目四番目来週漢字を練習しますか来週漢字を練習しますか来週来週漢字を漢字を漢字を練習練習しますかしますか練習しますか来週漢字を練習しますか来週漢字を練習しますか<笑> 5番目最後です。5番目。あなたは毎日牛乳を飲みますかあなたは毎日牛乳を飲みますかあなたはあなたは毎日毎日牛乳を牛乳を牛乳を牛乳を飲みますか飲みますかあなたは毎日牛乳を飲みますかあなたは毎日牛乳を飲みますか How was it? Was it difficult? In the case if you didn't understand anything or if you think, you, you, oh, I don't know how to write this one, in the description below there is written these five sentences in hiragana. Okay? If you liked this video and if you think this was very useful for you, please give me a like. And if you have any more questions, maybe you can write them. In the questions in the commentary um, and if you didn't subscribe my channel yet please do it and also please share my videos with your friends your company your your families that will help me a lot 今日もここまで見てくださってどうもありがとうございますぜひチャンネル登録といいねボタンそして私のビデオを友達とシェアしていただけたらとても嬉しいですぜひお願いいたしますではまた会いましょう。じゃあね。バイバイ。